Martin Luther King Day is here. And as we all pause and reflect on Dr. King's amazing work and legacy, as we should, and as we do every year, uh, there is one thought that I can't get out of my head and I wanted to share with all of you. Uh, it's simply this. I worry that we are learning the wrong lessons, not just from Dr. King's life, but from his legacy in all of our history. Um, let me explain. I, I know better than anybody that we love a good story. I love a good story. And the way we tell our stories tend to focus on a singular hero, right? Whether it's a superhero or uh, a superhero of a president like Abraham Lincoln freed all the enslaved people or Dr. King led a movement in delivered civil rights to our nation. But the problem with those stories is that, of course, President Lincoln, the greatest president of all time, still didn't end slavery alone, and Dr. King didn't do his work alone either. By the time Dr. King was standing uh, at, at the National Mall and speaking about his dream, he was already standing on the shoulders of thousands of people, people who who set up chairs and church halls for meetings, who drove supporters to events uh, so that they could register to vote. They uh, called all their friends and families, they called their neighbors to gather them and to hear Dr. King and others spread their news. And so I worry that when we tell our stories this way, we focus on one singular hero like Dr. King, we fall into a trap. We ignore the community, came together to make change possible. And that can, of course, trick us, right? Well, why, why does that matter? Because if we're waiting for a hero, uh, if we're all sitting around saying, I wish we had a Dr. King now, I wish uh, we had an Abraham Lincoln now, then uh, we don't do all the work that we need to do to make change possible. So of course, Dr. King was a giant who touched the lives of millions. We honor him this holiday as we should. But I hope you'll join me in honoring all of the millions of people who helped him along his journey and continue to do this work now. Maybe you are one of them who sets up chairs in church halls or drives people to the polls. If you are, I want to say thank you for living up to the legacy of Dr. King and helping to honor him on this extremely special day.